Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can see component indices for points, edges, polygons, and line segments. In this simple scene, I have this low resolution sphere and uh, this converted Mo spline. It's been converted into an editable spline. What I can do is go to the options menu and let's click here on the dots and rip it out. Fantastic. Now it's a palette. And what you will see down here is polygon indices and point indices. And I can turn these on or off. And depending on what object is selected and what component mode is selected, in object mode for a mesh object, you will see the polygon index so this polygon here has an index of 31 as you can see and the polygons are indicated using a red color and the points are indicated by using a blue color so this is 24 25 17 and so forth now if i switch to edge mode you will see these little tuples which is a pair of points that indicate which edge this is so this edge over here is the edge defined by points 17 and 25. So if I go to points mode, you will see that we have 17 and 25. As far as spline objects, while the point indices do show the actual points, you can see this point 1 and uh, point 48 and so forth, the polygon indices show us the segment of the spline. So let me turn off the point indices and let's look at these red numbers. If I go to my move tool and select one point, let's select this point over here. Let's go all the way here. And I'm going to go to the select menu and select connected. You will see that we have this spline segment, which is segment five. Knowing what segments these are will help you when you're dealing with uh, scene nodes or other parts of cinema, which requires you to know which segment of a spline you're using. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.